What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. So you're actually going to be talking about Terrifier 2 in this video here again today. So not too long ago and even less than a day at this point uh damien leon who we know is responsible for terrifier he put out this announcement on his instagram story to announce that terrifier 2's official full-length trailer and release info will premiere on his youtube channel and to please make sure you subscribe i don't know when this announcement is actually going to come at as of this video being posted this could happen tonight he posted this again less than a day ago it could happen i would imagine sometime this week and we're gonna have some official look at art the clown back in action in terrifier 2 and we're going to be seeing some or we're going to get an idea of where it's going to be released on i guess if that's a streaming platform still because that's what he has made clear in the past stating that he hopes to have it out on a streaming platform later this october or this halloween season i would say so we'll see if that's the case i think it's actually going to be landing on shutter i do think that maybe it has some type of limited theatrical release i know a lot of people would love that too but it seems like it would land on a streaming platform as they hoped and it seems like to me anyway that the best fit for that would be shutter i know people have said oh what about netflix netflix is just uh netflix i don't think had any actual ties to that movie other than of course i think when it landed on netflix as a streaming option that's when a lot of the popularity started to kick in and pick up and you know people started clamoring for more art the clown and that's what brought us all the way to this i don't think netflix in and of itself actually had a relationship going on with this production or all hallows eve for that matter but we'll see what ends up happening later this week we know this movie is supposed to be following art the clown resurrected uh two people of course are going to be trying to take him down when he starts trying to attack them and whoever else is in his way he's going to be returning to the same location from the original movie we know victoria is going to be back and the same actress is back playing her we saw the new updated makeup that went into that art the clown again for me has just been a breath of fresh air in terms of horror characters that are out there um i feel like there is a lot of missed opportunities that have come and gone with a lot of horror icons so like two of the biggest ones that come to mind right now on for starters i'll start with the creeper biggest missed opportunity i would say in the past 20 years due to all the tarnished uh legacy that exists around that because of who unfortunately brought it to life and then you have bagul bagul who was the entity in sinister who seemed like we were going to be getting a lot of cool content based off of the potential that was present there but then of course the sequel came and that was a flop so then that that's like two two of the biggest missed opportunities in recent memory for me i would say in, in terms of creating horror icons that could go on to have some of the most iconic franchises not to say that the creeper in and of himself doesn't of course have that cult following that considers it an icon but it's still a missed opportunity considering what you had established in those first two movies and the fact that again it unfortunately just riddled with a lot of controversy because of who brought that monster to life so when it comes to art the clown i see a lot of potential there i've talked about this in my last video which i released like a week ago at this point where i talked about how i saw a lot of potential with this character i think that for the most part that first movie i love it it is great in terms of the performance that is being given to bring art the clown to life but there's a lot of stuff around art the clown in general that is just lacking i'm hoping that this time around we get a movie that is more character driven letting you get to become invested in your character before they start getting killed off he has talked about the fact damien that being has talked about in the fact that the runtime for this movie could very well be over two hours long so that's plenty of time to develop some characters before they start getting hacked off by art the clown and in terms of just a memorable moment i want to talk about really quick because i believe the art the clown actor has actually talked about this in an interview it's in reference to something we can expect in terrifier 2 where he's talking about that pizzeria scene that pizzeria scene in that first movie that is some of the most unsettling things i've ever had the pleasure of seeing in a horror movie even for something that again was made for a relatively lower budget it's a combination of the performances being given the clear unease and how uncomfortable that 
how, how uncomfortable Tara is with him present in the pizzeria and just the nonchalantness of it all when it comes to how Tara's friend will interact with him take pictures with him he's still just honed in on Tara it's just very creepy he's not acknowledging the pizza guy when he comes to asking for his order it's just a very creepy and unsettling moment in that pizzeria so very unnerving very bone chilling in the sense that you yourself as the longer he stares at her you're just as uncomfortable as he as she is almost as if you're forgetting that she he is staring at her he, but you're starting to feel like he's staring right at you so i hope we get something like that in terrifier 2 that just has you feeling very uncomfortable with this character's presence and it seems like that's what we will get he did kind of again hint at this in a previous interview from what i'm recalling so i can't wait to see what happens i'm expecting this announcement to come this week when it relates to damien announcing when it's going to be releasing where it'll be releasing and then of course diving into that trailer seeing what other things are going to be out there for us to look forward to for in this movie again i think uh felissa rose has been casted in the movie so all you sleepaway fan sleepaway camp fans out there i know a lot that would be a big reason for you to go out there and see that movie because of that see how she factors in see what her role is and see if she gets a cool death sequence in the movie of course too uh or see maybe they maybe let's just throw this out there maybe art the clown has an accomplice maybe he finds love <laughs> uh but damien leon again made this announcement not too long ago less than a day ago talking about that an announcement for the release date i guess and just release not release date but release info which could include of course revealing the release date where it's going to be released on if it is indeed going to that streaming platform that he has again talked about in the past and we'll get that official trailer all on his youtube channel which i'm predicting will be in the coming week ahead sometime this week during monday through friday of course he could drop it on saturday but he again could drop it tonight never know just throwing it out there uh I can't wait for Terrifier 2. I know a lot of you can't wait for Terrifier 2. What is your favorite moment from that original movie? What do you want to see going into this new movie? Do you want to see more Terrifier movies after this second one? Um, based on off the basis that the first one was that good. Do you want to see more after Terrifier 2? Not off the basis that you have that you have seen the second one. But for now, because I know that could change after seeing the second movie. You can say, yeah, I don't want any more. But as of now, would you like to see Art the Clown kind of grow into this icon? Because I think there's a chance for it to, to do that. Uh, I feel like we need somebody who is fresh and different from all of these uh, OGs coming back in their shining moments. Have something new come into play. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and you miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me see any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.